Hey cute people, it's a haul. I know it seems like all I do is hauls, but those are the easiest videos for me to do, to set up and do with the equipment that I have. So, uh, but anyway, yes, this is a haul people. And I do want to say before I move on, because I'm going to get right into it, but the first thing, subscribe to my channel for, for more me. You may as well just go ahead and subscribe, come back whenever I have a video for you, which I'm not even going to say I'm going to do better, because every time I say I'm going to do better, I do worse. But let me just show you some of the things I picked up that I think you will also enjoy and may want to get for yourself. Like this pretty fanny pack. Yes, isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. And I had just said a couple of days before that I wanted to get a bag. And I came across this one in Sears. Um, look at it. It's really cute. I like the little pattern they have here. There's a pocket in the front. The only thing I don't care for about this bag is that the hardware is silver. I wish it was gold, but it's still cute. And then you have the um, what is it? you have the little flap here to help you find a zipper. And then you have a little pocket in the front. There's also a pocket in the back. But this pocket here in the back is a black zipper, which is cool, which would have been better to me than this big old silver stuff here. And then here's the inside of the bag. Really small, not really big. I haven't taken the paper out, but you see here you got your two compartments. Then you have a, another little compartment here. Also, there is another zippered pocket here. I couldn't even think of that. But there is another, let me see. Okay, now in the back, yeah, there's a little divider here. I guess you can keep your ID. It's small enough to keep an ID for quick access or a credit card if you're just going shopping and you want to pull out your credit card real quick. I thought it was really cute because I like the strap. And, of course, it's a fanny pack. The regular price for this was $24.99, which I did not want to pay. And I said I wouldn't even get it, but it was an additional 40% off. But when I got to the cash register, this bag only cost me $13 and some change. And it looks really good. I don't know if this is genuine leather, but it looks like that real soft. And it feels soft, too. That real soft, smooth Italian leather. So I went on and got it. I said when we leave the mall, I didn't buy it right away. But I said if it's on my mind before we leave the mall, I'm going to go ahead and get it. And it had two other colors, like um, a really pretty blush pink and another color which I can't remember but I got the black because it looked cute with what I had on that day and that day I had on a black shirt dress and I thought it would, would look cute with it in the future so like I mentioned to you if I didn't say I may shop a lot but I always get sales discounts coupons whatever so also had um some coupon for this sale here i don't even remember what it was but i knew i wanted some brushes so i said i'll look out for the next sale or whatever or ulta is offering and this came along whatever the sale was so i went and got me four brushes i wanted to try morphe which is not expensive but it's even better when you can catch them on sale which is what i did so i got the four brushes and really i just wanted eye brushes because i have a lot which you can see back here but you can always use more because when those are dirty then you have extra but anyway um this is the 124, I'm not even going to show the number, but this is the 124 brush. And it's just a regular flat shader brush. I also picked up this brush here, which is the 507. And they say that this one here is a mini, pointed mini blender brush, which you can see. And this is great for detailed work, which I will not be doing much of. But sometimes I want to keep color in a concentrated area, so this would be great for that. And then here's another brush. This one is the M30, 330 rather, I should say. I think I got some foundation or something in my nail. You see it there? Disregard it. But as you can see, this is a um, blending brush. And then I also got another brush. This one here is the 167. It's an oval shadow brush. It's pretty big. So that was the four brushes that I had wanted to get from morphe at ulta sale going on another day i went into ulta i think this day i just wanted to buy something i don't remember if i went for a particular reason uh, like i said i just wanted to buy something and this company here boo -lo -lo -lo, has some of the prettiest packaging and some of the pure, prettiest 
Shadow. So this is the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral. So I got this one here. I think I have two other Juvia's Place palettes. And I really enjoy them and I like them. I thought they were pretty. And of course, this one is just as pretty. Like I mentioned, these pretty packaging they have with their products will always get you. And here is the palette. Okay, so here it is. Really, really pretty. Definitely one you can use throughout the summer. And I think you can get away with um, using some of these colors in the fall too. Um, I don't know if you really can see how pretty the colors are but they are really really gorgeous and i have to say that a lot of the palettes that i've seen from juvia's place have always been very very pretty maybe not all in the style of colors that i would want to choose but very pretty nonetheless and so i got this one again this was on sale already and i had some type of coupon that was 25 percent off and that sale was not too long ago so it's still may be going on because I think it was this palette and the oh what was the other one um the Sub Saharan palette the Saharan palette I think was the other one so I got that for the longest time I had been looking for a brow gel because I don't have any eyebrows but the little that I have I just want them to stay in place and look ruly and look cute. So I had a coupon. Yes, I told you I used some coupons like it ain't nobody's business. But I had a coupon for Walgreens. I went into Walgreens to try to find something that I could use. But I didn't find not an area thing. So I ended up in Walmart. And the Walmart I shop in is really small. The cosmetic aisle is not very, very big. So there may be a lot of things that I can't find. But I did come across this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow here. This is um, clear. And that's what I wanted. Like I mentioned, I don't have any brows, but the little that I have, I do want them to stay in place. I think it looks nice when your brows stay in one place. And the little that I have that I can, um, you know, brush them up and it looks kind of cute. So I got this and it was pretty much about $6, about six eighty-seven. you know, that crazy Walmart price. And then I also wanted some bronzes but I didn't want to spend a lot I knew I wanted drugstore bronzes and I happened to come across these from Wet n Wild and I'm not really sure about them I'm gonna I sample well swatch them before I'm gonna swatch them again and you guys tell me what you think now this one I'm gonna show you now is Sunset Strip Tees okay so this is what it looks like I think this is the matte one right I don't know it may look a little too light but I'm going to swatch it. Here it is. Okay, now this is what it what it looks like. Now this is a bronzer. These were the two darkest that they had. And this is what it looks like. Can you see it? And this is pretty much matte. But it looks a little satiny, I think. Right? Really pretty. I don't know how it's going to look on me. I will definitely find out soon. And the next one is Palm Beach Ready. It's this one. Let me open it up. I'm going to end up breaking my nails. Uh, okay. And this one here looks a lot <laughs> like, well, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's kind of frosty, if you can see. Okay, I'm going to swatch this one here. that's it there you can see it and then I'm going to swatch it here let me know in the comment sections if section if you've ever tried these if you like these colors and if you think they'll be a go for me this is the second one I think they'll do okay I think they'll be all right and that's the bronzes that I picked up now I like Profusion. The stores near me, no one carries it. Not the Target, not the Walmart near me. And even the Walmart that I go to in Jacksonville, where I just went recently, they don't even have Profusion. But this day, I walk by and come back around and voila. And there, 
this palette was. I was really surprised to see it because, like I said, they don't carry perfusion. I would have to go to Target. And then what I would normally do is just order it from Target and have it sent to the Target near me. So this here is the Sun Kiss palette. This palette was $12.92 at Walmart. I meant to look online to see what the palette went for, but I didn't. So here it is. And the one thing about this palette here, they have the plastic on it and the plastic has the names and also the name is on the back so that's great if you lose your plastic cover some people do i'll have all the plastic covers to any eyeshadow palette i've ever had <laughs> i don't know if it if it falls out somewhere i will look for it but here's the palette after i take the plastic off and here's the palette perfusion has some of the prettiest palettes and they're not expensive and the payoff is really really nice and hopefully one day i'll get a chance to use some of these palettes in front of a camera but isn't it gorgeous isn't it gorgeous and some of the colors are ignite and cupid periwinkle fantasy and jade that's some of the names of the colors and this one seems to be a lot different it's one that is glued down to the palette okay so that way when you open up your palette if you decide to keep this plastic thing it won't fly all over the place you know how it flies under the bed or under a dresser and you gotta go get it all right well and let me tell you something also that will surprise you because it surprised me i received a coupon from sephora so i said you know what I'm going to go ahead and make a purchase. I'm going to purchase something that I have wanted to purchase from Sephora in a long time. And that is some Fenty Beauty. I don't get to go to Sephora like I used to when I lived in New York. Because Sephora is not really close. When I was in New York, I could go to Sephora. Then go to MAC. Then go to Macy's MAC counter. <sighs> oh, man. It's just different living in the south when you want to shop now i see why when i used to watch videos and i lived in new york everybody was ordering things because if you want stuff you gotta order pretty much everything yeah um, i'm not well it's whatever but anyway so i went to safari with my coupon but i couldn't use my coupon because she told me i believe it was either because it was a sephora in jc Penney's or either because it was fenty beauty high end I couldn't use my 25%, but I am going to find out because if she's right, okay, if she's wrong, they give me my 25% in credit or something. I don't know. But anyway, because when I saw the total, I was going to tell her to put all that stuff back, but I said, I'll go ahead and get it. But anyway, the first thing that I got, um, which you know what the box looked like, right? I went to pick up um, a Sunstalker Coconati, her high, her bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. And I'm so upset because, first of all, let me show you the packaging, which you've probably seen the packaging before. Her packaging is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I end up opening the thing and scratching part of the, you see where I scratched it, can you see? But this is Coco Naughty. This is the bronzer. All right, maybe it might do a little something. I don't know. That might be a little too light, but that's okay. If it can't work as a bronze, it'll work as a highlight. <laughs> but this is Coco Naughty. It's really, really pretty. I'm just upset that I dug my finger into it, but that's what it looks like there. Okay, so that was the only thing I was going to get. I wasn't going to get anything else. But you know what? I said? When I was there, I said, you know what? I'm here. I may as well go ahead and get um, another item. So I broke down. And then I purchased the Fenty Beauty foundation. My color is 440. Can you see it? That's the color for me. And I'm glad that I got it because I haven't worn it out, but I've tried it on. This stuff right here is love. You hear me? This is love. The bottle is pretty. Nice frosted bottle. Bottle. I'm 440. And like I mentioned, this is love. I put it on my face. It didn't feel like I had a thing on my face. The coverage was beautiful. And this is what she calls soft matte. And I know in the next couple of days, she's going to have another foundation out. But this one right here is pure love. So another thing I was on a hunt for, but I was going to get this from the drugstore too. I am all lopsided here. <laughs> I'm home chilling. So anyway. Um, yeah. So... I wanted to get a concealer, um, 
full coverage foundation seal or concealer. No, not con foundation, but concealer. Ugh. Cause I have dark circles under my eyes, and sometimes I don't always want to wear these glasses, which I told y'all wear the glasses to hide it. And um, yeah, so I said, you know what? Let me go and get her found her concealer. I keep saying foundation, okay. And so I got this pretty little bottle. It looks just like the um. Oh, but this is a little different. But the bottle looks a lot like the foundation but it has a dough applicator and i tried this on too and like i said i got it in the same color 440 and i wanted it to be my complexion like i said i didn't want one to highlight or anything like that and i put this on this is also love this is also love i tell you these products i could see why people spend um almost their rent on these products because they are so good all right, so now I'm going to check out, and I'm like, man, I really don't want to spend all this money on these products, but I got them. I'm going to go ahead and get them. I just have to um, budget, budget, budget for the next couple of weeks. And then the young lady said to me, you know, her foundation works really well with her primer. You should get the primer. And I was like, I don't really want to. She said, well, they have the travel size, which is $16. I said, ah, okay, $16 ain't going to kill me. I'm already spending 1000 <laughs> So this here is the soft matte. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is the soft mat, right? And this is the pretty box. I like her packaging. I like the boxes. I don't even want to throw anything away, but I ain't going to keep it. But So here's the pretty, pretty packaging. There it is, okay? And it just says Fenty Beauty. Yeah, I know she's coming out with new primer also, and it has a pump, which is really great. And um, I didn't try this, but the um, foundation and the concealer that I've tried so far, and that was just on one side of my face, not my full face. I loved it. Absolutely adored it. You hear me when I tell you? But I spent $114 on that stuff. So, you know, I was looking for my 25% discount. But when she said what she said, it broke my heart. But I went on with the purchase anyway, because at one point I said, you know what? If it weighs on me, I'll just bring all this stuff back. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. Um, and let me just bring attention to the elephant in the video. Yes, I have one nail painted because I wanted to paint my nails white. But I wanted to see what it would look like. Because um, you see my nails are long. I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't look so gaudy -ish. But it looks nice. I think it's going to look nice. White nails. White long nails. Yes. Now... I'm in love with Fenty Beauty. I haven't even worn it that long or tried many of her products outside of my home. But I'm happy with what I got. And then you know the girl, Jackie Ina. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Yes. Look at this pretty, pretty package. The package is really pretty. It's gold, but you see the iridescent in it. You see her little logo here. And this box is textured, so I'm not going to throw this away at all. But I happened to get it on the first day it came out on the website. And yes, I had a coupon. So I got 15% off on the order. This is all I bought. And the shipping was free. So this came up to like $38. I think the regular price for the palette is either $44 or $45, something like that. But that's okay. But here is the palette. It is so pretty and I am so happy to know that people really like it. I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about the palette. She did a great job. I think she wanted to create um, colors that would be great for darker skinned women and she just did the thing and it's a beautiful palette and here it is. Here it is. I watched her video. I saw her do a look. The look was absolutely gorgeous. Number one. Number two. She explained why she named some of the shades the way in which she did and why she chose them. And, um, yeah, this palette is just all the way pretty and groovy. And I'm glad I got it. And I really don't buy collabs, but I wanted to get this one. And really, I wanted to get this one because of the colors. The colors first and then because it was Jackie on the second. I don't know how that sounds, but that be the truth. And that's why I got the palette. And what is wrong with my shirt? Oh, like I said, I'm home chilling this Sunday, so it's whatever. But I don't want to look sloppy, too sloppy on camera. I mean, you know. 
But yeah, I got this palette, like I said, because of the colors. The colors in this palette are beautiful. Everyone that I've seen so far that used this palette and did a review, they didn't even have to put on a whole bunch of concealer and a white base and this and that and all that. The colors show up. The colors show up. And the colors are gorgeous. And it's just a really nice palette. So I'm looking forward to using that. And yeah, I do use my palettes. You probably think I don't because I always showing you something. But that's all I do is show you. But yeah, I do use my palettes. I say that all the time. I'm not saying it anymore. But listen, that is my haul. And I just showed you some of the things that I picked up. And like I said, Sharon is Karen, as they say. But I think Sharon is more like, um, I picked up something and you may be interested in it. So um, here is what it looks like. And I got it on sale. And maybe you can catch it on sale too. Well, not everything but anyway i'm gonna end this video now because it's sunday like i mentioned and i do want to get comfortable i want to um i don't know check emails watch tv and just chill out for the day and then enjoy tomorrow which is monday so again i do ask if you just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like my video like my video only because I didn't end this um, taping to go change my shirt. Yeah, I kept this shirt on here. But listen, just like my video because um, I ask you to and I'd appreciate it. I don't know if you would because of those reasons. But if you do, thank you very much because you know I would really appreciate it. But I'm not going to keep you much longer than I have already. Enjoy the rest of the week. And you know I want you guys to do nothing but share and spread love. One day I'm going to look at the camera instead of looking ahead. But you, it seems like you are over here and not over there. Share and spread love.